Hi guys, I welcome you back to my messy apartment. Remember the rotary tool that I introduced in the video when I customized the blood ritual dice? Remember how the drill bit used to spin improperly? Well, it turns out that there is a very simple solution to it, it's just that I'm the idiot who doesn't read the instruction manuals. Now I'm finally gonna grant my friend Andy his wish and customize the black green dice set that I received a while ago. In the meanwhile, you should really check out his channel, I leave the link in the description. And without further ado, let's just get down to business. Let's not waste any more time and open up this little bag of goodies. All right, so here they are. My intention is to have this 20, drill three little holes in each corner of this triangle, leave a drop of blood red over there, like three drops of blood. I'm gonna leave the 20 in gold, the rest of the numbers I'm gonna paint them blood red. As for one, I'm gonna try to paint it because it's on a black surface, green with specks of maybe red and black in order to try and make it look like, I don't know, spoiled blood or something like that, poisoned gangrene or something, I don't know. Also, I'm gonna sand all of the black areas uh, because I want them to look like uh, stealthy clothing. Now, I realize that there is not much black on these dice, but still, I think it's gonna look cool. There is just enough black. So let's just leave D20 at the table and start doing these shenanigans. So welcome back my friend Rotary Tool. This time, properly set. See? It doesn't budge. So, I'm sorry about the noise. I think that's it. Hmm. I just might take another drill bit and maybe drill it a little bit deeper. But this is pretty much done, I think. This one will be a right tool for the job. All right, let's give it a try. Welcome back, Rotary Tool, you little crafty bugger. I just reminded myself of this horrible smell. <laughs> Let me take a whiff. Oh. Damn, it hurts my nostrils. I'm just trying to clear this drill bit. Okay, so this is <laughs> how this resin or plastic looks like once it's taken off from the drill bit. It actually melts it down, which is logical now that I come to think of it. So let's start painting the little bugger. Hello, blood red dye. It looks freaking awesome. I'm really happy with it. Carry on with the painting. I was on the verge of saying how I like this gold smudged in blood, but I realized that some numbers are really hmm, invisible, too smudged. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep painting them. And now my fingers look bloody. <laughs> So this little bugger is almost done. Let me just repaint this golden 20 and try to do this number one in green color. Let's just see how it goes. Already looks much better. I'm gonna have to repaint these red spots though. That's it with the gold. Let's redo the little red spots and that's it. Now let's see what does number one say. I'm gonna let it dry out a little bit and try and put some red spots, maybe even some black spots in it and see how it turns out, I don't know. So it turns out that this was the worst idea ever. <laughs> uh, uh, well, 
some gold spots or white spots maybe. Let's just try it out. Oh, it's just splotchy. <laughs> this is just amusing. A little bit of red. Just at the corners. A little bit of gold maybe. Now that I come to think of it, it does look like a wound that's been cut all the way down to the bone. I just might leave it like this, because it looks kinda okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it as it is. I think that the D20 is done. I'm gonna paint the rest of the dice and I'm gonna get to sanding the most tedious part of the job. But you'll see in the end, I really think it will turn out to be awesome. Alright, it's done, at least the painting part, and it looks awesome. It was definitely a good call. Though, my fingers do look like this right now. <laughs> and uh, this is gonna need some cleaning, but still, it does look mighty fine. Anyways, I've cut down some strips of sandpaper. Here they are. So, without further ado, let's just get on to business. I know I've told you in the beginning that I'm sending the black parts only. Call me crazy, but I think it's gonna look really, really cool once I'm done with it. Wow, this definitely looks <laughs> really, really cool. It's gonna be a tedious work, but I'm gonna get it done. Anyways, camera off until I finish this and then I'm gonna do the final reveal. The final reveal. Nice. <laughs> I'm really, really happy with how they turned out. I was really excited about them when I got them and I'm even more excited right now. Just look at this 20 with the three drops of blood. Insane. This golden 20 is like reward in gold for assassin for doing his job good the red numbers are a good call a very good call and this sanding that i did is just insane i'm really really happy with how they turned out the rest of the dice they're equally cool this black is stealthy and this green is like poisonous goo they still need some <laughs> extra cleaning because there is some leftovers from the paint but they're really really nice. All right, so tell me in the comments, what do you think? Are you excited about these ones as much as I am? If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and I would appreciate a thumbs up to this video. Also, sharing this video would help a lot. And there is my Instagram and Facebook page, so you can follow me there if you want. And as always, thanks for watching and take care.